All right, guys, welcome back to a brand new episode of Ark on the Gaming Evolve Vanilla Server. Season two is coming to an end here. Well, kind of an end. You guys know I've already explained. We're, we're going to be hanging on to this server until after the tech tier because we want to come back on here and actually cover the tech tier. Because you guys know tomorrow we're going to be starting off a new series of Vanilla, Series 3. I'm so excited, guys. I'm really, really excited. It's going to be... It's gonna be amazing. We have a lot of cool people coming as well. Um, I'll drop, there's a, there's probably an updated description down below. I'll drop a link in there and there will be everybody's channel link in there. It's a, it's kind of like a document and there's everybody's channel and it shows what series everybody was in. And if they were in a series, you can click on the ticks and it'll bring you to a playlist to them. And then at the very top, there's all the series names and they all have like rates and everything for that. So if you guys want to check out Vanilla Series 3 rates and the little, I guess, not really mods, sprinkles almost, that we have on there. You guys can click on that. Um, but yeah, we're going to do a little bit of base tour. I want to show off everything, if I can. <laughs> so right here, we are at the community. This is where it all began. On our very first episode on Vanilla Series 2, we started off by running from the Red Tower all the way up the island to here. Now, that stage, the Redwood was not in the game. The Redwood came in, like, during July, I believe? Maybe at the very start of July? I think so. But, uh, yeah, so we came here, and this is where it all began. We had, like, a little hut over here. There was, like, a little wooden hut there for the longest time, and we just started expanding. We, we built a greenhouse at one stage, which is now being destroyed because... I can't remember. A Pachyronosaurus, right? Yeah, I, I should have fixed that. <laughs> uh, and then eventually we built this like community hangar spot where, you know, I mean, we all didn't spend that much time here after the first couple of days, but, you know, it was pretty good just having it here. It was all like really useful stuff, and this is actually probably the most useful spot. This is where we keep all of our community blueprints and stuff. So we got all of our cool armor, and wow, I. Oh yeah, I forgot that we had these. I got that. <laughs> I found this one. There's another one in there as well. I found that as well. <laughs> so we have all of our amazing armors in there and like a couple really good weapons. We actually lost a, uh, a chest here with our tools. I think something broke it at some stage and we just lost every single blueprint which really sucked. But uh, yeah, and here we have like really useful blueprints. Look at that. Ascendant Quetzal Saddle. Pretty amazing. And in the weapons one there's also supposed to be a, my Ascendant Assault Rifle and the... And the what is it called the compound bow blueprint but apparently they're not in there so i'm gonna have to hunt those down before we end this off because i want to keep the ascendant assault rifle blueprint because you know i, I really want it i, I don't want to get rid of it it's too rare <laughs> so uh back here we have if anybody's been on the channel for a while and this is how a lot of people said they found me there was a video put up basically and some people have even claimed it to be fake it's, <laughs> it's so funny basically um we had a guy on the server and he randomly one day just invited his friend on and we said hey no your friend can't be on here and he was like okay and then one of the guys on here removed him as tribe admin so he thought that we were kicking him too and he just decided hey we're gonna ruin your server so they pulled a couple of gigas what does that say all the remains of this legend. Okay, I wrote that. We, they pulled a couple gigas from the obelisk and started to wreak havoc. And then we we took those. And then the other guy that he invited on, Peter, the hero, um, he pulled out like a level 1 billion and a half, I think, giga and ruined everything. And then we had to reroll because this is a PvE server. Obviously, we're not going to be letting that crap slide, you know. But uh, yeah, this is where this is where I have Peter's grave and everything. And actually, for the longest time, because that video has a crap ton of views, I was actually putting in a flower for every thousand view that I got on the video. And it has like over 130,000 views, so I need to get him more flowers. But this is his implant. I kept this, and I will be keeping this. I I'm going to upload that, because I want that. It's it I don't know, I just feel like it's, in a way, like it's kind of like a tribute, because it gave me one of my very first boosts on YouTube, which was really great. Um... We're missing a couple artifacts up here, which was really great because it, it motivated me. It pushed me above where I was and like pushed me to the point where I was like, okay, well, I'm actually doing really well right now. People are seeing my videos. People are liking them. It's not just that video that people like. People were like, hey, you know, all of your videos are good. I found you through this one, but I love all of them. And I'm just like, wow, this is great. <laughs> it was, you know, it was, it was the first push. It was the first jump in my YouTube career, I guess. And I... 
I guess in a way I owe it to the fact that he did that and then also that I was there and I recorded it. I wasn't even going to put that video up, but I just did it because and I'm I'm glad I did, I guess. But uh yeah. So that's one of the cool things that's here. I'm going to be keeping that anyway. This is the very first shop that was set up here. I set up a polymer shop. So obviously I live on Polymer Mountain, which is that one right there. I'm breaking stuff crap. And um Oh, is he still here? Samuel Dodo is here. <laughs> He's my cool Dodo. Uh, yeah, I set up a polymer shop because I live in polymer mountain. It's really easy to make this stuff. So people basically just buy polymer off of me. And it looks like somebody's bought some recently. Um, yeah, so this was kind of cool. We created like a little marketplace. It was a really good idea. And people put in orders and I delivered the orders and everything. And it was a really great way for me to get CP because I made like 50 CP per... A uh, stack of polymer because it takes 200 CP to make a stack of 100 polymer. So I made like an extra 50. It was great. It was fantastic. <laughs> and then there's a couple other shops here. Uh, Drerik's Brews and Stews. He has like a bunch of a bunch of uh, fridges in here with like all the different brews. And I really like this shop. It's great. It's like it's very well polished. I wish my one looked this good. But uh, also, um, I should mention on the very front here. Ooh, um, I got a fan from Twitter. I believe her name is Susie or Susan. Oh my god, I'm so bad. I should have remembered. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Susie. Uh, she she made this uh, this sign up here for me, which was great. It looks fantastic. <laughs> so uh, yeah, so that was one of the first shops. Then Evo made a track dark shop, and then this is Seb's electronic shop, and then Jack made a metal for CP, which was kind of weird because in our community, cementing paste is our currency. And then Jack went ahead and said, hey, like, I'll pay for money. Oh, <laughs> uh, I don't even know. He had, like, a money shop, basically. Uh, so, yeah, th that was okay. I think at some point he said he wanted to change that to artifacts, which would have been fantastic. But I don't think he got around to it, though. Because, you know, a lot of people kind of fell out of vanilla a little bit. Because we played modded and there was less updates for vanilla. They were far apart and, you know, you kind of... There was a little bit of I guess boring boring times between those updates because there wasn't a lot to do and you can't just recycle true content I don't believe in just doing videos for the sake of doing videos and I've done it in the past and I really regret those videos but um yeah <laughs> I don't I don't really like doing that this is the STD clinic um, so as you can see swamp transmitting disease clinic and then we had some signs here, and then another one. There was another one here, and there was a dodo infected with swamp fever in there. But an RG killed it at one stage and killed the sign too. So we don't have that dodo anymore, which sucks. Um, this is the little greenhouse anyway. Cosmic and I built that. It's pretty cool. But yeah, um, there's like a bunch of dinos here that are community as well. This was a great spot, you know. A lot of really good memories here. Um, like, yeah. I don't know. It's it's great. This is always the spot that we bring people to immediately. Why is there a wall missing at the back? It must have broken. Um, but yeah, this was always the spot that we'd say, hey, you know, we'll bring you to community and then you can set yourself up. So I don't know. I'm proud of what we've done here. <laughs> it looks really good. But uh, yeah, moving on. Um, I think next what we will do is we'll check out my base. But later on in the video, I want to check out everybody's base. So I might actually try to get people to give me tours of their base. I've already spoken to Shredder. He said that he'd give me a tour of his zoo, which would be super cool. So make sure that you guys stick around for that, definitely. Shredder's got a really, really good base. Um, it's it's basically, it's not even a base, it's a zoo. He's created a zoo, and it's it looks fantastic. And I, I don't know, I would not have done justice just going over there myself so I, I asked him to give me a tour there we go amazing so let's check out our base now down here I'm not very proud of this this was kind of an absolute mess because of the way it looks on a mountain but we had a bunch of walls here because we had gigas spawning down here which was kind of annoying so I put up walls I put up turrets and those turrets ran out of ammo and I think the uh, yeah the generators out of uh, juice as well so yeah this is our this is our little bottom part of our base I'm not a huge fan of this anyway the main part is up there really uh, we have our aloe pack down here and our imprinted raptor as well, scooter. So yeah, let's hop up here. So this was always like a spot where people would come to get metal. Um, we didn't really set up that much on the volcano because I had a, like a really good setup here, I guess. Everybody just came here for metal. Everybody came here for uh, obsidian as well and I guess crystal too. But I there was another node here. I blocked that one by accident by building this tower. There's only a little bit of crystal on the mountain now. I think it's just down here. 
But uh, yeah, this was always like the, the spot to get metal, the spot to refine and everything because I have two forges, which really, that, that cost me a lot. That took me ages to build <laughs> both of those. Uh, and then we have the chemistry bench as well. I was the first one to get to level 85 on the server because I, I, I was like highest level and we were like, okay, well we want, we, we need forges. So yeah, we, we all just start killing alphas and, and got me to level 85. But uh, yeah, that was, that was pretty amazing. Over here we have our, uh, <laughs> hey Athena, we have our little polymer factory, so basically three fabricators, you chuck in like all the obsidian and then you just make polymer just using three fabricators all at once. It made it a little bit quicker, which was great. Um, that was like pretty early on I set that up actually, I think within the first week or two. Uh, and then over here we have our chemistry bench, we had some other stuff over here before but it's changed up recently. And then we have our like little utility dinos. So we have our Dodic, our Moose, our Beaver, and then our Anki. And I think all these are imprinted besides this guy, I believe. Yeah, all imprinted. So they're all really good. Like these are kind of OP gathering dinos. We have our uh, our mutated Megalosaurus. I should just also mention that all the other Megalosaurus disappeared, and I don't know why. It's kind of strange. Yeah, I, yeah, I don't, I don't understand. <laughs> As well, here we also have a organic polymer farm. Where's our dire wolf? Oh, there he is. Okay, I thought he despawned or something. That was weird. So, uh, unfortunately, right now it's not working very well. Maybe he's just not hungry. Wait, is he hungry? No, he's not really hungry. He must have just eaten. So he'll only actually eat these guys when he is... Don't be leaving here. When he is actually hungry. Can I drop you? How do we... Is it not double F? Oh, it is. Okay. So yeah, and then we have this guy here to help warm up the eggs. So basically, the penguins lay eggs, they hatch, they become Kairuku. As you can see, there's one right here. I can claim them, or I could just let the dire wolf eat them when they when they starve to death, I guess. Or, like, I guess, actually, that only works if they're growing up and they die. Like this one right here. You see, he, he didn't make it to full, to be a full, a full adult. But uh, this one right here looks like he is. So... Right here, this is stored polymer, and then over here, this is polymer that is basically like up for the grabs at any point. I can come in here and I'm like, hey, I need just a little bit of polymer, get some organic polymer, go out, you know, and there's a couple of eggs in here too. Oh wait, no, I thought that was an egg, that's his foot. So we got all of our uh, penguins in here, and I, I, I love this episode, this is one of my favorite ones. I keep talking about it, but honestly it is, and that penguin's escaping. Get back in here, Cuddles, that's right. So we got Table, we've got uh, Clubber, we've got Kai, we've got... Jen, we've got Cuddles, uh, Carrot, and then Oswald, which is the male, and he's wearing a party hat for obvious reasons. <laughs> and then, yeah, uh, that's that's basically the the polymer farm. I was pretty proud of this. It was a great idea, but now there's easier ways to get polymer, which involves snails, and some of our snails have actually starved to death a little bit. Why does that guy not have any polymer? Oh, this one does, yeah. So obviously these guys make polymers, so, and it doesn't really spoil that much in their inventory as well. And they just make more and more, so this is obviously going to be the better method from now on. So, obviously, you know, these guys were just introduced. I did that ages ago. I did that one, like, maybe, like, four months ago, possibly. I don't know. But, yeah. This is cool. I want to do something like this next season, and, like, have another one for, like, dung beetles, and then... I don't know, there could be, like, another crazy dino that produces stuff, but, uh, yeah, that's, that's kind of the idea there. Uh, let's hop over here. We can check out the uh, the meat room, I guess. The jerky room. <laughs> that sounds wrong. Uh, so yeah, this is just a bunch of preserving bins just to make a, like a crap ton of jerky. And we can hop up here. Ooh. Spiral stairs are like glitchy. Um, this is our greenhouse. I'm pretty proud of this. I think it looks amazing. And I like the way you come in through the bottom. Uh, we haven't really done much with all this in the last while. We've kind of we kind of let all the crops die a little bit. We have our dung beetles back there. Yeah, I mean I like this. I think it looks cool. We did that one day. Just you know, I was at the point where I was like, I wanted to build because I don't build a lot on camera, and I wanted to build on camera, so I just started doing cool projects like this or uh, or the tower as well. Oh my god, the tower is my favorite thing. We're gonna do that in a second. And then we also did the the bedroom trophy room thing. So. Over here we have like a bunch of our smaller dinos, like a bunch of uh, dimorphs there, and then a bunch of uh, of the Archeoptics things, and then a bunch of trophies, cool little decorations. We had a, like a monkey in here called Bubbles that we tamed really early on, and we had uh, Chewy here as well, but for some reason 
like recently dinos have been going missing and they're not dying they're just going missing which is kind of strange so uh yeah up here we have a random saber tooth that i made when the imprinting update came out and i guess i never actually imprinted him but yeah he's we just have him i guess and then we have lola which is basically my dog in arc a lot of people were asking for stats of this guy right here and there it is right there. It's really, really leveled. I've been using this thing for ages and it's 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 great. <laughs> Obviously, I, I don't know if you guys have seen my Twitter. I have a Siberian Husky, so I put on that cool paint thing for it and it looks amazing. <laughs> Doesn't look exactly like her, but still. Uh, over here we have some beds and then like a war map which sticks to the floor, which I'm kind of annoyed about. We have our cool ceiling part there and then we have our artifacts over here, which I'm really proud of. Looks great. We have all of them, <laughs> even Scorched Earth back there. But uh, yeah, then over here we were supposed to have a Manticore trophy, but it like pointed at the floor, which looks silly, so I took it away. We have a bunch of our flags there, and then some drums. <laughs> uh, um, so yeah, this is like the bedroom trophy room spot, and I like it. I think it looks nice. We have a bunch of chests here with just some useful items and stuff in them, like armors and weapons and stuff. Because I don't really want to fill up our vaults. And speaking of the vaults, I've been doing this for the longest time. I love doing this. You put the vaults, like, underneath the, like, on the floor below, I guess. And then you just have this, where you can stand on top. Which, I, I don't know, I just love this. It's great. Like, I know I'm, I'm not claiming to be the first one to do this. But, like, I've been doing this for the longest time. And it's, it's really useful. <laughs> we have, like, Fabricator, all this cool stuff, blueprints in there. And then down here, you can just see, like, the vaults are here. And we have an elevator, which is kind of useless because originally the plan was, I, I, I won't go down the elevator, but I'll just show you in a sec. The plan was to a little incubation station and then like gas over here. Oh, is this thing out? Oh, I think it is. Crap. How did you go out? I filled you up like not even that long ago. Go back on. <laughs> yeah, so the original plan was to build the base from up here down to the ground down there, but then I kind of decided against it because it looks super freaking ugly. And then I just couldn't build down here very well because of the slope, and yeah, we kind of just abandoned that, so. We had a bunch of dinos down here in a dino pen. I actually was in the middle of destroying that stuff, and I guess I never finished it. I don't really care about this part of the base. Like, the main part is up here, which I think looks great. Yeah. <laughs> Over here we have a couple of our like useful things like the grinder and the chemistry bench another chemistry bench and then fridges and gas thing or gas grill even and then up here we have our tower which I'm really proud of. Uh, this is probably the best thing I've ever built in arc. It looks great like obviously the turrets are like they don't actually they don't really serve a purpose really at all. They're kind of just aesthetic but they do have ammo in them I believe so I don't know. I think it looks great. And we have our, uh, one of our, actually, this is our only wyvern for vanilla. We actually brought this guy over from Scorched, and, uh, yeah, he's pretty cool. So, what else do we have? Yeah, just a couple little bits and bobs, and then, like, our flyer spot out here. Yeah. So that's pretty much the base. I'm pretty proud of it. I actually, I love the panned out view of it. Oh, we can't really see from here. Can we get, like, a decent, eh, I mean, that's okay. I think it looks great. I really like the tower, <laughs> but uh, yeah, that that is our base. So um, I guess we'll move on from here. Okay, guys. So we're at the next base, and this is Evo's swamp base. So uh, it's like a giant box almost. <laughs> yeah, well, it is a giant box. He's admitted it. Basically, yeah, he he built like a freaking massive base. Um, he's kind of got like a flyer spot up here where a bunch of his flyers are. I think at some stage somebody came over here and whistled neutral and like something attacked and a bunch of things left. I don't really know. But Evo's kind of been a little bit out of vanilla for the longest time now, so oh, we need some more water. Um, so yeah, he, he really hasn't done a whole lot with this thing in, in a long time, which makes sense. I mean, he's, he's got like 3,000 hours or something on arc, so I think it's more now. But uh, yeah, he's got like this crazy volt spot up here but basically he has like so many volts it's kind of hard to show off because it's a little bit cramped in here when I'm on the Tapajara or Tapajara whatever they're called but um yeah he's got so many volts and they're all like they're all for like different resources and everything he's got like a volt for like semantic paste metal and like all those things like every single item in arc he's got a volt for which is pretty impressive gotta say and he's got like blueprints and like different chests up here as well it's pretty cool base pretty amazing and he's got like 
I, I really like this back here where basically there's like a tree sticking through and you got vines and stuff I don't know why but that just looks amazing he's got a forge back here and like a bunch of dinos um as I said he, he really hasn't done a whole lot on Ark in the longest time so because at one point as well oh no I nearly touched the water at one point as well a bunch of his dinos like completely just disappeared and a couple of my dinos got that as well and I don't know why um randomly at one stage dinos just disappeared which is kind of strange but uh yeah, up here we've got the kibble farm, which is an absolute mess now as well. Um, and then at one stage, I think him and Mago built this little spot over here to, like, incubate. Well, I don't think there's any incubators at all, but there's, like, fridges and stuff. I think they meant to do more with this. But, you know, like, there's a lot of unfinished projects. That's because, like, a lot of people became uninterested in vanilla. So, I guess in a way, this new season with a lot, new pe a lot of new people is going to really help us as well. Especially the people that will drop off vanilla early. Um... So yeah, hopefully everybody's going to have a really good season. But this was the Kibble Farm. I liked it. It was pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, that's that's kind of Evo's base in a nutshell. Um, yeah, I guess we'll move on from here. Okay, so we got Seb's base right here. Um, originally, he had been building up here. And he had a lot of stuff up here actually before. But he completely removed all that. And uh, he still have a couple things left up here and like a way up, I guess. Um, but now he has his base down here. He had to put a bunch of spikes up and a bunch of turrets as well, I believe, because there was like a crap ton of rexes and everything here. All bad stuff, really. Uh, so yeah, this is his base. It's it's interesting, to say the least. Like, those weird shapes. I'm not, like, I think it's just aesthetics, really. Uh, which is good, you know. Seb's a good builder. Oh, we're kind of touching the spikes, are we? Alright, let's head inside here. So yeah. Seb's kind of taking the uh, backseat to Ark right now because his PC really can't handle it very well. So uh, I assume he'll he'll be back at some stage soon, but uh, yeah, this is his base. It's it's quite like compact and everything, which I like. Um, like everything, there's always like, you know, th there's always like a something in every spot really. You know, like back here he has like an incubation spot and then like a bunch of fridges and everything and then like the vaults are all compacted and then like, you know, I don't know, I like it. It's it's nice. Good job, Seb. Um, let's head up here. So, up here he's got just another level with a couple more things, and then I guess you can go to the roof as well. I'm not sure if there's anything up there. I don't think there is. I think he was gonna, like, build off of here. But, uh, yeah, that's that's kind of Seb's base. Uh, can we get down here without dying? Eh. We're okay. <laughs> I guess we'll close the gate. Yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much Seb's base. It's nice. I like it. It's compact. Ooh. Oh, what is that? Oh, I never knew you could do that. What does that even do? If you press X, you can do that? I never knew you could do that. Wow, okay. That's interesting. Um. Oh, also, he has this little spot here, like a little uh, dino pen and like a taming pen which I use all the time <laughs> so thanks Seb for making that <laughs> I don't really want to be bringing stuff up to my mountain to tame it so yeah this is nice I mean it's a it's a really good spot a really good base and uh, yeah I guess we'll move on from here so here we have Jack's base um, which is kind of interesting he's got a bunch of dinos just wandering in here he's got his giga over there and he's got like a little building here it's like some greenhouse stuff and some metal stuff there it's interesting I like it that giga kind of scares me though. <laughs> he's got like a little barn back here and mainly just a couple things in there. Not a whole lot going on there, but he's got like this floating spot up here with like a glass floor, which I like. Looks cool. Should have built like an elevator here actually. That would have been nice. And then yeah, just that's is kind of just the oasis. It's not a whole lot here. Um, it looks good though, but uh, Jack has like a bunch of bases on the server, which is <laughs> just kind of funny. But uh, yeah, right over here. We have Cosmic Space, and Cosmic will not be joining us for the next season. Oh, hey, Quetzal. Uh, Jack will, by the way. Out of all the people that I've shown so far, um, I will be there. Evo's going to be there. Seb will be at some point later. Jack will be there, and uh, Cosmic will not be there. He's he's completely quit Ark for now, or I think forever, I guess. Um, this is his greenhouse, which causes me a lot of lag, which I don't really want to go near. It's like a massive, really long greenhouse. <laughs> um, he's building kind of just across from the North Island right there. And he's got like a uh, little spot right here. He's got like a taming pen, a bunch of other stuff here as well. And a boat right there as well. And that's Jack's boat over there. Um, Cosmic's just got a bunch of stuff in there, not a whole lot. 
And uh, yeah, this is kind of the water pan whenever wherever like everybody's dinos were. This is my Mosa. I tamed that one like ages ago. It feels like it's I think that was like episode eight or something. Like a solo tame Mosa. That was great actually. I love doing that. But uh yeah, it's pretty amazing. So uh I guess we'll move on from here. So right here we got Neo's base, and this is just above the swamp on the east side. And this is new. He's uh he kind of just built this recently because Neo only joined us like a month or two ago. So yeah, he's got like plant species X right here, greenhouse. It's nice. I like it. Neo's a good builder. He's got like his little spot in here. Oh man, I didn't even notice that. Oh, and there's like aloes in there. Cool. <laughs> They're all just sticking out the back. It looks really good. Props to Neo. Really good base. He's got like a little perch up there too. I guess I guess we can go inside actually. Nice. That looks good. It's quite aesthetic, which is nice. He doesn't even have bunk beds. <laughs> Looks like a primitive plus base besides this. <laughs> uh, that's awesome. He's got this little dimorph bear and everything. Cool. And there's Neo. What's he have on him? Nothing really. Amazing. <laughs> Alright. Let's head on from here. So this is BK's base over here. Uh, down at the south. That's the Herbivore Island. As you can see. Oh, is there something missing there? Ooh, let's go up. Oh, maybe it's meant to be that way. Um, but yeah, as you can see, he's, he hasn't got a whole lot here. It's just a... Uh... Why does he have that? What even is that? I don't even know. Oh, you know what I... Oh, BK, he kept that? <laughs> I think that's one of the flags that uh, Peter and um, Lloris hacked in. That was like on his body or something. Or maybe that was on Spartan. Spartan was another guy who we had on the server. And he randomly started hacking in random items. So we booted him away. Um, I don't actually, you know what? I hate ladders. We're not going to go up there. But like there's basically just a bunch of crafting stations and stuff up there. And uh, yeah, he's got like a little incubation spot back here. Which is nice actually. Oh, there's another door. Cool. <laughs> but yeah, I mean it's a nice building. Really nice. I like the variation in it with the stone and the wood. Looks good. Awesome, BK. But, uh, yeah, this is kind of his spot. He hasn't done a whole lot. But, uh, he said he'll be really active next season. So, BK is joining us. Neo is joining us, by the way. And, uh, yeah, let's move on to the next spot. Okay, so it took me a while to find this one. <laughs> I always found it really hard to find this. This is Drarek's old base. Um, he actually started off this season wanting to build in the Redwood. And the Redwood was supposed to come super early, but it got delayed by a... Hell of a long time, and for some reason Evo's Quetzal's here. What? I don't even know. But, uh, yeah, this is... We got a gamma up here. Gamma 3. We, uh, yeah, Drarek kind of just built his base here for a little bit, and then he moved off from here. Why is Evo here? This is so confusing. <laughs> I don't even know. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it's a really nice space. I like it. I like it a lot. It's quite, uh, it's quite neat. Which is good. And he's got, like, just enough room for, like, a Quetzal or, like, a... Like maybe a mammoth or something to walk into there and then he's in here he's got like his preserving heaven <laughs> there's like two floors full of preserving bins and he used to have this thing going all the time there's a rock going through those what the hell <laughs> uh but uh yeah this is Drarek's base and it's really nice i like it it's it's like right on this uh right on this cliff here and he's got a greenhouse there as well i forgot about that looks really good but uh Drarek right now he i think he he's definitely joining us for season three but he him and his wife just had a kid so uh he hasn't really played a whole lot lately but um definitely he will be joining us eventually probably not at the very start i'm not sure he's he's a really busy guy <laughs> and he has this massive path full of uh torches so he could find his base because i think he had trouble for the, like the longest time which i don't know that looks really good though i like that it's nice we got a yeah, little fight going on there. And he's got like a forge up in the mountain here as well, I believe. Somewhere. Uh, I thought there was. Maybe there isn't. I don't think so. But uh, Drarek's also got another base right over here. Uh, whereabouts is it? I feel like it's like right... Oh, there it is. Yeah, they're so they're super close. I didn't even realize. Okay. Yeah, so Drarek has a really cool treehouse. I am very impressed. Gotta go Gamma 4 in the Redwood. I'm very impressed with Dark Space. It's it's great. I love it. It's probably one of my favorites. But uh, yeah, he's like an amazing greenhouse up here in his treehouse. Treehouse, greenhouse. 
Uh, he did that super early on. I think he was probably one of the first people to actually make a video on like making a really good treehouse build. And uh, I think he also had it featured in one of the community crunches, I, I believe. And also he's got like artifacts on the ends of these things. It looks super good. Looks great. Let's uh, let's hop inside here. Can we fly a top of jar in there? I don't think we can. Can we? Uh, let's just do this. There we go. That works. So uh, yeah, it looks it looks super cool in here. It's got like uh, oh he's yeah he's been on recently as well. I forgot about that. He actually did do a couple episodes on the new update. Um, so yeah, it's it looks great in here. He's got like a little flyer dock up there. He just keeps his flyers up there. Mostly he'll use uh, quetzals and stuff. And um, down here he's got all of his other stuff. For a while as well, he used to be oh wow, laggy framiness. <laughs> For a while he used to live inside that parasaur. Um, I thought that said monthly. I don't know why, but uh, yeah, he's got like a bunch of dinos. He's got an elevator up to his treehouse as well. It connects to another treehouse as well, which is kind of like a defensive one, and it's also a way for him to walk big dinos into his base, which is cool. I like it. Which is great. He's got his flags over here too. Um, so I guess actually, you know what? I'll quickly just show off this up here. Can we get? I don't know. I feel like we might be too fast. I don't really. I'm we get, we're getting like frame minutes. <laughs> uh, I think it's all the glass for me. But uh, yeah, this is it up here. It looks great. It's kind of it looks a bit weird at nighttime, but uh, it looks fantastic. And he's got like so many crop plots and so many things up here. Looks great. Where is the exit? There it is. <laughs> uh, yeah, Treyarch will be back for season three. Um, yeah, definitely. <laughs> I'd hope so anyway. It wouldn't feel like an arc season without him. But uh, yeah, this is his spot. Also, actually, while we're here, is it further that way or is it further this way? I think it might be this way. At one point, um, probably when the Redwood came out, it wasn't so long after actually, I, I believe, but uh, me, Evo, and Dreyarch built a PvP arena in the... There it is. In the, uh, in the Redwood. Now this is like it's it's kind of I don't know it it's almost like a mini game because there was a red team and then a blue team and the blue team is like down there I believe and the red team's over there um, so yeah you you kind of just run around and like shoot bows and arrows and stuff and like kill each other and there was like different strategic spots where you could like hold like this little part on the bridge which I'm really proud of but everybody else is not <laughs> they were I was like I remember going on and on just because I knew they hated me talking about this spot, but I really like that. It's like a really cool defensive spot, which is really useful because you got like good view of everything, and there's lots of cover in there as well. So uh, yeah, you, you know you can kind of just like have a little look around yourself here. There's like spots where you can like duck behind and like shoot arrows and stuff, and there's always like another spot that could be watching you as well, which is great. So you have to keep moving too. Um, so yeah, and then there's like ladders there like little awesome spots but yeah I, I don't know this was great this was a great idea and uh, we had a lot of fun here we did a couple little battles here we did like bows and arrows and then we did like another one where we just used trank guns and stuff and it was great it was awesome I'm proud of it I think I don't know if anybody's done anything like this since or before us anyway I didn't see anything like this before us and I remember thinking like man people will love this video it's gonna be a massive video it wasn't that big but yeah I'm still pretty proud of it <laughs> Oh, uh, it's awesome over here. I like it. A lot of great memories on the server. A lot of great memories. <laughs> okay, guys, so we're back. We got Shredder here, and he's going to give us a tour of his zoo. Mago's here, too. What's up? Hello there. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> uh, welcome to the zoo. Ah, it looks amazing. Okay, well, uh, okay. I guess here's, here's the money. There you go. There's my admission. What is that? Lo lovely. Use it if yeah. you I need to inside. I didn't bring anything. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's fine. Donations are accepted, but it is a free entry zoo. You, you can't come in for free. Yay. Yeah. So this is the uh, the grand entrance. Um, inside here, it's a little bit empty here. I, um, I do plan on doing some stuff in here, mainly information signs and things uh, for some of the animals that you can't tame. Oh. Things that's, that's what I plan to have in here, like a few signs and things. Are you going to put up like, Maybe... paintings with the information on them? Yeah, yeah, that sort of thing. What I really would have loved was to have um, a bone costume for a dino and have like a, you know, like a fossil 
as you come into like a museum thing but i never found any when we had the halloween event so i'll help you maybe, out with that one <laughs> yeah maybe we can get one of them uh just got a few artifacts in here this is kind of i was gonna have like the gift shop but i haven't really figured out what to sell but <laughs> that's a cool <laughs> idea though yeah it's just something like that there um you can come upstairs this is kind of staff only but i'll let you up here uh for, you know for the purposes of uh, the video <laughs> this is uh <laughs> this is just the uh, by little workshop this is where i do my stuff and uh, all my storage nice. and uh, my little bedroom in here oh so, i uh, saw this before <laughs> you look like harry <laughs> potter down here yeah <laughs> oh yeah i remember this <laughs> that's fine uh, that's awesome yes yeah, so this is my stuff and uh, yeah then we can go up the uh, up the ladder up to the top this is where my cooking happens we have uh, my garden i've got my snail up here as well Oh, <laughs> are, you, going... are you planning on cooking your snail or? Uh, no, he just likes it there. He, um, he, oh. he's he kind of wanders around, but yeah. he he quite oh, often. Oh, no, some cementing please. Yeah. Like... Oh yeah, yeah, you can grab that. You know, I, you store... I heard a theory that they can I'll destroy crops. On. By the way, I'm not sure if it's true. Well, I like... did wonder if it would eat stuff, but um, oh my, uh, narco berries have disappeared. Hmm, suspicious. They were there earlier. It's not fertilized, that's why. Maybe them. he yeah. eats the fertilizer. I don't even know. Hmm. I thought it had, did have some in there, but I haven't, I haven't really tended my garden much recently, so yeah. Um, yeah. I'll probably need to get onto that. Um, okay, well, I'll tell you what, let's go back downstairs because uh, this is kind of uh, um, the staff entrance to the zoo, so we'll, we'll go in the proper way. Nice. Meh. Can I not? Are on or? Okay. Uh, you should be able to get over there. Oh, yeah. I kind of I put those up when they first came out. I'm I'm thinking maybe the ladder was better, but I've I've left them there anyway. I always thought you had two here, by the way. There's, yeah, there's two, well, two there's stairs. one on top of the other. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because it's, it's like a, f a double height room. I needed two to get up there, so they kind of go into the wall a bit. It's not perfect, but okay, it's okay. Oh, you mean the I don't know. Oh, I, oh, now I get it. Like, I thought that there was two yeah. stairs here or something, but it's yeah, actually the way I the steps on the wooden mean. one are. I don't know. It looks a little bit odd. <laughs> oh, I see what you mean. Yeah. Yeah. yeah no, no, it's just one. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. Okay, so this is the entrance into the uh, the main part of the zoo. Okay. Uh, these uh, the, the animals out here are just waiting to be homed. I haven't built enclosures for these ones yet, so they're, they're just waiting until I've forgotten somewhere to live. Nice. We have toilets here if you need to go before we uh, go inside the, uh, the zoo. I might actually. <laughs> oh, wait, no, they changed the button for poop. What is it now? I have no idea. Oh, it's, it's plus on uh, the went, numpad, and I can't poop You went yet. into the disabled uh. one, right? <laughs> and there's two for women because they need to go to the toilet so much more often, correct? That's right, yeah, that's to prevent it's, cues. Come on, that's a little sexist, actually. <laughs> 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 Oh, I didn't mean to okay. go into that one. <laughs> <laughs> you totally didn't mean it, did you? Uh, uh, okay, so uh, the first stop over would be the, the petting zoo. Oh. Uh, it's a bit crazy in here. Name tags oh, off. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let me just get rid of my bird, hold on. Oh my Aww. god. I've been in here so many times just to steal the odd egg from the packies. <laughs> yeah. That's not an egg. Becky yeah, Hick. help yourself yeah. to eggs. I've got, I've got loads of them. I don't need any more. <laughs> so yeah, this what it did look a bit nicer in here. See where all these benches are. There used to be yeah, a tree in the tree. middle here. Yeah, I was uh, there say. was a, yeah, there was a bit of a disaster. There was there was like a wild uh, creature got in here, and there was a bit of a rumble, and they knocked the tree down. Could you put oh, no. down refertilizer to put it back? Yeah, in? I was thinking yeah. of doing that. I haven't got around to doing that, but I think that yeah. would probably work. That'd be cool. But yeah, so we have the um, the packies, the dodos, and the lystros in here. And uh, they've got little sort of shelter over here. You know, when it rains, if they want to get out of the rain, they can come under here. Oh. <laughs> are these guys neutered as well? Yeah, I've just I've just neutered all the males. The females are fine, but the males I've neutered. <laughs> awesome. Uh, we have we do have some information signs for the the lystro and the the packy over there, so oh. you can sort of uh, learn a bit about them. Nice. Dude, you went really into detail here. Yeah. It'd be great if you got like a little painting of the dossier as well. 
Yeah, that's cool. not a bad idea, yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, Naga's gone. Wait, where's she gone? <laughs> she left. Oh, did, oh, I have backspace on. Oh, great, Mago. <laughs> uh, I guess we'll be back in a sec. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we good? Yep. Okay, yeah. so we're back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so uh, one other point about these guys is that a lot of these guys are named after my subscribers. Um, mm -hmm. It's a little thing I do. If, if any of the subscribers want something named after them, um, a, a lot of these are named after them. Oh, you got Drogon over here. <laughs> yeah. I got Drogon too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, that's awesome. Yeah, that's a really cool. good idea. Okay, so once you've had enough of petting the uh, little ones, you can come <laughs> out this way. And don't forget to wash your hands after handling the animals. Oh yes, of course. And th there is soap in a box. <laughs> Why can't I get oh, up yeah. there? <laughs> nice. So I think uh, we should go next. Do you want to go see the carnos? Yeah, sure. <laughs> It'd be cool if we could like throw stuff into them. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Somehow pick up like a wild dodo and throw it in. <laughs> so these are the carnets over here. Got some quite nice ones in there, I think. Yeah. So you've got little benches you can have a nice little sit on and just watch them for a bit. You get all like the information around the sides as well, so you have to walk. Yeah, so, yeah that's pretty cool. Yeah, it's info on this one as well. Well, they look happy. <laughs> yeah. Um, you know, it would be great if you could have, like, baby dinos walking around, too. Man, that would be cool. I think at some point in the tech tier, there's supposed to be... You're supposed to be able to keep the dinos as babies. I don't know, I, I thought I read something about that before. Yeah, uh, this is, is a sort of quite a requested uh, feature. Mm, yeah. What's happened? Baby direwolf or something. Oh, I think I placed a ramp in the wrong place, and then I couldn't get to it to get rid of it. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, that's fine. <laughs> it bugs me. <laughs> <laughs> it wouldn't take too much to get rid of it, I suppose, but I just... Yeah. I'm not OCD like that. If I make mistakes, I just... Yeah, I can live with it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, so the Dilo house is next. The reptile uh, room. So, nice. so once again, we have uh, the signs above the, uh, the windows. Oh, yeah. So they've got uh, a nice inside area, and they can go outside whenever they want. A nice open area to catch the sun. How many have you got on there? Two. Uh, I think that's four, is it? Three, four, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's four. Nice. Oh, I see only three actually. Two, three. Oh, there was four. <gasps> Oh, no. <laughs> you could have, could have an escapee. Maybe, oh. maybe they ate him. <laughs> the... uh, what have we got? Uh, wait, one... no, there is. Is there enough? Oh, okay, so no, there's not. That's three. One moved like really quick, I think. I don't know. <laughs> hmm, I have a feeling I had one called Lover, and that seems to have escaped. Oh, no. <laughs> hmm, I have to look out for that. <laughs> Sometimes, if there's someone leaves this door open, they can get out this door. I've, I have found them wandering around before yeah. if people have visited to get eggs or something and uh, yeah <laughs> that's awesome okay uh, okay uh, the trike is next so again I've got my big sign with the uh, what the name means nice freehorn phrase <laughs> I don't have these ones on wonder because I, I still need to build their railing a bit higher because they can walk over that Oh at the moment. yeah. So but yeah, there's there's most of it's okay, but I think there's one gap just over here where um they can actually walk on there. So when I get that, then they can uh, wander around freely. But they've got their own little paddocks and uh, the feeding trough at the back here. Oh, and you get like a little catwalk up there too. Yeah, so you can go upstairs and look around. So th mm. Get a nice view. Oh, there's more signs. Uh, yeah. So this is all the information signs for these ones up here. You know, they need haystacks in Ark. <laughs> oh, yeah, that would be, be awesome. Pretty cool. Yeah, so some more sort of decorative things would be great. Yeah. Nice. So if you come out over this side, uh, you can have oh, a look. We're about to... uh, I'm on the opposite side. 
Okay. So we can hit him. All this glass is just like making the frames happen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> making the frames yeah. not happen, you mean? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, wait until we go to the Avery. <laughs> oh, I beat over there one time and it yeah, was yeah. like, oh god. <laughs> it's it looks uh, great, but it's like I'm lost. It's like Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're honestly. Your own zoo. <laughs> <laughs> my, yeah, my 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 computer actually whines when I look at the Avery. Oh wow. <laughs> yeah. Uh so we've got the bug house now. Oh. That's um this isn't completely finished, but um I've got three things in here at the moment. So we have the dung beetles, first of all. Nice. Scorpions as well. Nice. We have this kind of the tunnel of terror. So in most cases, they can, they do have the option of crawling over the top of you. Oh yeah, it's, it's like, like, like the um, yeah, like shark tunnels in aquariums. That's what the what I wanted to go for. There are some some sections you have to kind of crouch to get through. Yeah. Um, just where I had to move over onto ceilings, but uh, yeah. So we've got scorpions, and then we can go down here, and we have a spider. Oh yeah, these things are hard it's to tame. It's sticking so. through. Yeah. Is it? It's not for me. Yeah. Nice. Actually, it's doing a handstand or something. <laughs> I've not yeah. seen any of that. <laughs> uh. So this final section is, is empty at the moment, but it's reserved for the Arthropleura. Oh, but, yeah, uh, yeah. Those are nasty to tame, so I haven't really gotten around to doing that yet. <laughs> yeah, I think Dreric has a couple of... Um, what is it again? Enlightenment brew? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. that's a yeah. kibble, I think. Yeah. Uh, so if we go this way, we can go and see the uh, Dimorphodon area. Oh. Uh, so you can actually come up here. This is a, like a bird of prey display area. So you can actually just sit down and uh, watch the uh, display. But there's nothing happening. Well, it's because... There's certain times of the day when it does happen, Mago, and we've already missed <laughs> yeah. both shows. <laughs> Oh no. There we go. Fly! <laughs> you could, oh, you could set him into a class or a uh, a group and then have him move too. Like this. Yeah, if I, um, I think they, they do fly when they follow, don't they? Yeah, there we go. So you can fly around. Yeah. That'd be pretty cool though, actually. You you could yeah. nearly actually do a, like a Birds of Prey show because if you if you put him into like a group and did like the group whistles and stuff you could move too like you could just set him to move to a certain area and stuff oh uh, yeah yeah yeah. Um, yeah i've not actually played around with that stuff yet but oh it's kind of confusing <laughs> yeah it sounds like you could get vultures as well actually yes cool. yeah that would be good oh you've got my monkey yeah. <laughs> that's cool uh yeah, so again, if we just jump over the railings here, we have uh, the information signs on these guys as well. Ooh. I and even... uh, once, you, once you've once you seen the uh, display, you can come over here and uh, grab a bite to eat and a drink at the cafe. Oh. Ooh. Nice. And, oh, that's uh, sweet. I do have some food in the fridge here. You can help yourself to... Um, I've got a dodo burger in there, if you like. Oh, well, I might, I might sample. That sounds so wrong, though. Um, yeah, well, that was pretty good, dude. You should get um, you should get some milkshakes as well and have it like as like shredder shakes or something. Yeah, <laughs> like dodo egg shakes. No, yeah, I, I shakes. planned on, on making quite a few different recipes, but again, it's one of those things I just haven't got around to doing yeah, yet. It's kind of like a tedious thing to come up with. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So uh, that yeah, so I've got I've, I've made a start in a building over here. This I will probably I don't know I'll probably demolish this. I I built this when they first announced the bridges. Uh, um, oh. I don't sorry I didn't want to, I don't know maybe I shouldn't have mentioned the bridges. Don't bring up bridges, bridges man. You know me. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> because I was thinking I've got these pillars here because I want what I wanted is to have um, a bridge going up above and the diners walking underneath you. Oh, like yeah. I think this was going to be like a spino enclosure, but I was thinking is a spino going to fit through here? I don't think it it will. It's going to get stuck on these pillars. So I thought, I'll wait for the bridges. And mm. yeah, that's that's as far as that's got. <laughs> oh, eventually. We'll get them eventually. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Eventually. <laughs> oh. All right, so if we go down this way, we've got a, we've got a double enclosure here. Uh, we have the beavers and the dodecarus. Jump inside. So I've just got the one uh, Dodecarus here. This this place, it was full of rocks, 
Um, but of course, I was uh, <laughs> harvesting, and they they don't come back. Oh, I thought you could say the Dodic broke them all. <laughs> well, well, yeah, technically they did, but oh, yeah, yeah so, if you put so, them on Wander, they collect it, and I thought they yeah, put it on yeah, Wander. Yeah, they do. <laughs> yeah, no, that was the idea, but uh, mm. I was hoping they'd come back. But so this one is for the Dodicris. Um, it's a little shelter for it. And he can just roll down the ramp, and it feels like it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, he can do like sick moves. It's like rolling up and down, like on a skateboard. <laughs> and then this one over here is for the beavers. Yeah. It's all made of wood because they like wood. There's a nice little scratching post here as well. <laughs> to nibble on and scratch up. A little bit of a uh, little bit of food here too. <laughs> yeah. to get through. Nice. Uh, I've put the big doors in because um, you know they're very useful dinos to to use. So yeah, I wanted to be able to get them in and out. So the last exhibit that I've got at the moment is the Avery's. So this is where your computer is going to suffer. Okay, I'm just going to walk in a straight line. The whole time already. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing okay-ish. <laughs> so just take we it have slow. <laughs> yeah. we have the RGs. In this section over here, yeah, the roof, man. The pteranodons. Oh, you have a uh, hatchet at the top, like the, yeah, the so big hatchet yeah. thing. Yeah, each one has a hatch, so I can uh, I can fly in and out. Nice. Yeah, hatch. Why am I saying hatchet? Yeah, I was whatever. wondering what you were talking about. <laughs> yeah, don't mind me. I'm sick. <laughs> and so I've me. got what I've got one empty enclosure. This is for the Pelagornis, but um, I I tamed one up when they were released, and that that there's there was that glitch that made they disappeared. Yeah, mine disappeared. So my, yeah, mine disappeared, and I I couldn't find anyone who had any on the server, so <laughs> haven't been able to breed any or anything. So that's still waiting to be filled. Nice. I think Jack has some, by the way. I, yeah, he had some. hundreds of them. He had hundreds <laughs> of them, but um, I did look over his base and couldn't see any, so I don't know whether he's got rid of them or. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and then the last one is the Quetzal. Nice. He's got a big spot here. <laughs> yeah, he's got a bit of space. Oh, that's awesome. We have Drake's Quetzal here. Yes, um, I oh. bred one up, um, and again, it just disappeared. I didn't get any death messages or anything, but it, it just disappeared. So I've had to borrow, uh, <laughs> borrow someone else's. You know, you could have had about tw 10 Quetzals from me, but now they're like no longer here. <laughs> <laughs> Mago had like 20 or something. <laughs> right, <laughs> yeah. But uh, yeah, but yeah, I think that's um, that's all I've got at the moment. So, what are the future plans, though? Uh, well, as I said, there's plenty of space here. Um, I want to start getting some bigger things, some more, some of the carna, uh, sorry, the carnivorous ones like spinos and T Rexes, and just yeah, you know, basically everything that you can tame. I want to eventually get mm -hmm. at least at least a couple of. Um, you gonna make a Titan pen? <laughs> uh, yeah, maybe not the Titan pen. Four or five Titans. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah, so I'll, I'll have like, um, well, I want to get the next one up I want to get is the, um, the Pachyrhinosaurus because I want to put them in with the trikes. So I'm, I'll, I'll extend this enclosure, build a secondary hut for them, like I've done with the um, Dodigris and the Beaver. So they kind of share this paddock here. Yeah. Um, and that'll be the next thing I think I do. Well, that's all, uh, all going to be amazing. For anybody who doesn't know, Shredder is actually going to keep this map. And he's going to continue working a zoo, and then also do season three, right? That's the plan. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> so you're going to do your zoo as a uh, single-player series, kind of. Yes. Yeah. Well, I mean, I wouldn't just give up this. You know, you have a lot more. Yeah, to do. I know. <laughs> I wish we could just transfer it, but. Yeah. I mean, I guess we could. It's possible, but, but it would be a lot of work. Yeah. yeah. No, it's it's fine. I, I don't mind doing doing the two series because um. It's quite nice to start afresh, and I can, you know, build something different. Yeah, I just want to get like a bird's eye view of the spotter. Yeah, same actually. It's gonna hop on. But yeah, my Toronto is right here. Oh yeah, you've oh. got like so much space. <laughs> oh, well, yeah. the frames are going so much worse if you go up in here. Yeah. <laughs> Just look away from that air view or thingy. <laughs> oh man, yeah, you have so much more space. You could do so much more with this, and yeah. like you could expand down to the river and have like mammoths or something as like elephants, you know. 
That'd be kind of cool. Yeah, I was saying, it's one thing, there's no water up here, so like um, like the swamp creatures and things, I, I'm thinking, yeah, they'll have to have a dry enclosure, but mm. I don't know, I mean, I could expand down to the, the river and... Well, you could also expand down to the swamp. Yeah, it's can do. It's dangerous, though. <laughs> yeah, it is a bit dangerous. Yeah. And awesome. then, of course, if I was a real glutton for punishment, I could expand out into the ocean and do an aquarium, but <laughs> that may be going too far. <laughs> When once we get the underwater bases, you should build like a shark tunnel. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. that's that will be so cool. cool. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, that's awesome, dude. Thanks for giving us a tour. Yeah. Thanks for coming. Okay. So this is the last base. We have Maga's base. So ignore all this stuff down here. I think just a couple of her thousands of allosaurus have fallen down for some reason, and uh, I think all that is just to make all of this happen up here because building an ark <laughs> but uh yeah this is her base up here looks pretty cool she got some taming pens over here lots of dinos lots of space for dinos as well which is good and like a small little building but it's all compacted and everything's in there and it's all kind of like neat and everything and she's got like a rainbow <laughs> rainbow lamps here that looks cool back entrance there uh, and then over here she has her dino barn which is just, there's just too many dinos in there. Like, <laughs> and she's got her, her Quetzal lounge up here. <laughs> Couple of Rexes, holy crap. So many things, so many things. She's got a greenhouse that keeps getting attacked. There's like, I don't know, like RGs keep attacking the greenhouse or something. I don't remember what's happening. She's got more rainbow in here. It's nice, it's compact, which I like. I'm usually the guy that likes to have a spread out base though. There's like uh, lots of space for everything basically and everything like that. Cause it's looking cool, you know, it's nice. Nice, okay. Oh, that looks nice. <laughs> oh, that's cool, okay. Let's hop out of here. So yeah, that's, uh, that's Bago's base and that is basically the last base. Basically the last base. <laughs> That is the last base on the server. Um, there's a couple more, but they're not really much to show. Um, just from people who've kind of, you know, played for a little while and then and then stopped uh, playing and stopped uh, building and everything. So we didn't show off absolutely everything in the series, but I mean, I mainly just showed off all the good stuff. Um, so yeah, that is that is gonna be it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, be sure to beat the absolute crap out of that like button. Hope you guys enjoyed the base tour. Um, I, you know what? Like, there's so many great memories here. And uh, we've had this map for like over six months. It's crazy. I know we, we've wanted a reset for a while and now we have our opportunity and we have lots of new people as well. So it's it's great. And you know, it's it's gonna be it's gonna be goodbye to this map for like a little while, but we will be back just for a couple episodes to do the tech tier pretty soon. So make sure that you stick around for that. And uh, yeah, <laughs> I guess I'll catch you guys next time.